Okay, guys, so there has been a change in how Disney is going to be approaching their streaming service. After announcing that no, they will not be doing any R-rated content on their streaming service or more super adult-oriented content, it has now been confirmed that Disney intends to keep properties like Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Iron Fist, Luke Cage, and the Defenders, and whatever else they might be developing that kind of falls into that darker theme over at Netflix for the time being. So they can actually invest into making their own shows that fit into the type of tone and scenario that they want for the streaming service. So essentially, that's all good news for pretty much every party involved. Netflix is going to get to keep making the series they want. Punisher is probably going to stay on there too. I don't see that moving anywhere. Hulu is going to get to keep the Runaways. Everything just keeps moving forward how they're doing it. Marvel keeps expanding their portfolio with people that they don't even have to necessarily work directly with, such as the Netflix shows and Oversee 24-7, while they can focus on their own content that they're making on their own network. Works much like how they're doing with ABC. ABC, of course, works with Marvel Television making Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but ABC is also making all the Netflix shows and they're being distributed by Netflix, who's helping co fund it. So everything's going to kind of click together. So the way you're looking at it is since all these shows are going to stay there, you're realistically looking at eight to nine Marvel TV shows on the air by 2020 2021 i would say which is pretty impressive and when you think about it, all the streaming services abc this disney service hulu there's going to be a lot of marvel content coming at us and certainly with the acquisition of fox things are only going to get bigger for everybody involved so us fans i guess we'll take the best of everything